Hey guys, gossip and reactions, my mistake. My review on Belle Collection, all those beautiful women, business women are giving us what is it like to have your own business, to be your own boss, and I love it all. But there was one young lady in particular that I have an issue with, Latrice. Latrice is a young lady that is married to this uh, older gentleman. Initially, she did not want to have kids. Now she's worried that, that she has some kind of fibroid. She might not be able to have kids. And I'm glad her friend, I forgot her name. I need to write her name down. She's pregnant, but she keeps it a secret for now because uh, she used to have problems with fibroids too. And she said if she's able to be pregnant, so can Latrice. Latrice has to just go to the doctor and find out what she needs to do if she changed her mind, if she wants to have kids. But what I am going to say about Latrice is the fact that she is an opportunist. An opportunist is a person who takes advantage of a situation or circumstances for their own benefit, often without regard for ethics or morals. Opportunists are often seen as self-serving and willing to do whatever it takes to achieve their goals even if it means taking advantage of others. This is what I see on her. She has the opportunity to go in different places to give um, speech on business oriented and you know colleges and stuff. But I realize in a sense, she feels like she's better than everybody else in the group. And we have one young lady, I don't know if it's Leticia, her name is, that she's really good of giving speeches in different places when it comes to business what to do how to get yourself ready and we have seen in previous season she gave latrice some kind of advice on how to present herself and we also realized um latrice had an interview where she said those women that she's uh, hanging out with are just her co-workers once they stop filming she has no kind of connection with them and it seems like the, the people was taken by it because if we are filming together, we go places, we do stuff, friends do, we support each other as women in business areas, you want advice, why would you go there and say that about them? And it seems that like that day was a bad day for Latrice because she was getting ready to give a speech at a college. She wanted some tip from, please forgive me guys, I need to do my research. I forgot to write her name down. And when she came and they were discussing on what happened, Latrice had one in one of her events where she said, no one's want to do, hell no, no one wants to do nine to five. And she was taken by it because all the people that was there most likely was nine to five people. They work nine to five and her moms and sisters are doing nine to five. What people don't understand, they forgot where they came from. They forgot before they married to somebody who's, financially stable before they uh, become financially stable uh, stable because they they business make it to the next level they don't no longer have to do nine to five they forgot the majority of americans are doing nine to five so it hit latrice where the sun don't shine because you come getting advice from me you're talking about nobody want to do nine to five you're talking about disrespecting my workers disrespecting your sister your mothers that is doing nine to five right now it's like they forgot people real life people are doing nine to five that's how they earn a living people are ignorant and um dumb stupid beautiful young lady but it seems like she doesn't have it together mentally and because of that she opens her mouth the wrong way when you go on social media what people don't understand you go on social media disrespecting your co-workers you on tv people are gonna know somebody in that group and send them that information and say hey what are you doing you know what are you doing like you disrespecting the group by saying they are just your co-workers not people you you know that they're not your friends so anyhow she ended up leaving without getting any type of advice because, you know, hey, the young lady, Letitia, I believe, had to let her know what's up. She did not appreciate. She went on her event, calling 9 to 5 is hell. No, nobody wants to do it. And then 
she came for advice unfortunately she didn't get the advice and the thing is she want to feel bad for herself she's so easily to cry oh oh nobody likes me i'm gonna have to e e erase myself and the whole equation because it's always something you gotta know when you're wrong you know when you're wrong you gotta know when you're wrong when you feel like you're better than everybody else you gotta know people are watching people have a certain sense of like oh she thinks she's better like you're not better you need help from them to get yourself to the next level, but you're going to disrespect them. So I'm glad uh, she put put her in her place. I believe Letitia, her name is Letitia, put her. But the thing is, I see Letitia still with this man. Ah, this man is crazy. He followed her. She wanted to get a place. And her friend Marie was trying to help her get a place. And now you are back with this man. You better know what he's after. You better know why he's uh, trying to get back with you to make it work. Because sometimes it's best to be by yourself than being with a fool that feels like they cannot make it without you. You got to be careful, man. Letitia, you got to be careful. This man is crazy. So Gucci again. Fabulous as always with her husband very sexual they always talk about some freaky stuff she's there good for them and in the cowboy stuff i see they were they were um dressing you know in a cowboy boots and and outfit looking amazing looking great and i don't know this young lady that's hiding her pregnancy now i don't see she's filming with the boyfriend a lot like, this is somebody who you're carrying a baby for. We don't know if they, they are engaged, if they're going to be married. That's a lot going on. It's a lot going on. Uh, next time, I'll do a better job by writing everybody's name down and what do I feel about them. But so far, so good. Uh, we see Marie is going to be buying more properties because uh, Letitia, Letitia is the queen. She has a lot of connections. She knows a lot of people, and she's bringing business to her friends. I appreciate to see somebody like that. And um, good luck to them. Next time, I promise you I'll do a better job by having more information on them. But the main idea was Latrice trying to use Letitia, Letitia to get information, to get herself forward, but not respecting their friendship. And I'm glad Letitia put Latrice in her place. Subscribe and let me know how you feel. Bye.